Welcome back to MovementProfessional.com. So today I'm going to do a power strength endurance workout using a portable kettlebell or a sandbag kettlebell. So uh, I have lined up here a 15 pounder, a 30 pounder, and a 45 pounder. Uh, but that is not equivalent to the weight of an iron kettlebell due to the instability of the sand and uh, the longer pull of the handle. Alright, so for the sake of this workout I'm going to just use the big boy, I'm going to use the 45 pounder. Alright, so the first movement, the power movement, is going to be a clean from the ground. Alright, I'm going to do five reps each arm. So I'm going to get myself set, outer edge of the feet, the bell is going to be right between my feet, eyes up, and I'm just snapping the hips, catching powerfully. Alright, so this front rack is going to be a bit different because this is a big apparatus here on my arm. Alright, still need to keep everything tight, so the elbow is going to be tucked in. If this gets away from me and pulls you that way, that could be a real problem for your shoulder. So you've got to make sure that you stay tight into your body. This stays tight, arms pulled in, and then you come back down. Eyes up, vertical pull up your body, five each side. Each rep, take your time, get reset. It's not about how quickly you go through five, it's about how much power and explosiveness you get going from the bottom to your front rack. All right, it's a strong exhale there. All right, so five each side. Your strength is going to be a uh, kettlebell press. All right, so you're in this front rack position, staying strong, abs tight. Take a breath in. On the exhale, press up to the overhead position. Now, overhead, you're going to have your arm in line with your body. All right, now pull this way. So tuck the tailbone under, butt tight. Rib cage down, thumb trying to reach to the back of the room or rotate to the back of the room. All right, and then I'm going to breathe in on the exhale, pull it back to the front rack. Push the feet down through the ground as you press up. Do a pull up as you bring it back into your body. Five each side there. As much tension as you possibly can. You may have to break up your five into sets of two and three. That's totally cool. That's actually a good thing. It means that you're picking a resistance and you're creating an amount of tension that is challenging for you. All right? And then when we look at endurance, we just kind of want to make a flow through a figure eight. All right? So we're going to start with the bell and the right hand, go through the legs, stand up, and then back through. All right? So it's sort of a rotational or a figure eight version of the swing where you come through, stand up. So we're going to go 15 in a counterclockwise manner and 15 in a clockwise manner, up, up, and then back down. Make sure you don't stay here the whole time, but really stand up, go with the flow on the way down, stand up, go with the flow on the way down. All right, so we got 15 each direction that way. So after you get through all three of those, that's one circuit. You're going to do as many of those as possible in 15 minutes. If you have any questions, go to movementprofessional.com. See you next time.